Hey guys, Andy here, showing you today my ABBA stand. Now, I don't do a lot of work on my bike, but it's still handy to have some form of stand. If nothing else, when you're cleaning it can be quite handy. Um, today I had to fit a radiator guard, so I cracked out the ABBA stand. Um, it's quite simple to use, it's effectively two different pieces of metal. First thing we need to do is to separate the two. You locate the point on the frame that the stand will fit into on both sides and effectively clamp it around the bike. Once it's in position, you need to tighten it all up to make sure that it doesn't come off when you uh, lift the bike. First point is tighten at the bottom and then the top and you should find that that is pretty sturdily attached to the bike but we'll still be able to pivot. So we extend the handle, straighten the bike up, lift the stand out of the way, and lift it over. And there you go, and you should find that's pretty stable. I mean, I'm on a bit of a slope, which made me a little nervous, but uh, it was still stable enough that you could shove the bike about a bit and it wasn't gonna pop off the stand. But do make sure it is stable before you start work. That's, that's essentially what the ABBA stand does. It's very handy for me having, uh, well, this bike and my last bike was a single-sided swing arm. Um, it fits on any bike with, it doesn't matter how many swing arms you got. To take it down, just as easy. Make sure you put the uh, side stand down. And just generally, until it's fully off, I always try and keep a hand on the bike just in case. Take the pressure off both the, uh, the top and the bottom. Um, generally by this point I've already kind of moved or swung swung it up a little bit I suppose like that there you go just to make sure there's no weight resting on it so when I take it out it doesn't collapse anywhere. And once it's out for storage just slide it back together tighten the bottom a little bit tighten the top a little bit and it basically is gonna stay in that shape and off you go. Now the beauty is if you, if you change bikes like I did a few months back just order yourself the new fitting element. So you go to the website, tell it what, what bike you've got and for what year, and they say, yeah, this is the bike you need. You go, righto, I'll have one, thanks. Um, all in, you're looking, you know, just over £20. As you can see, they will ship to pretty much anywhere in Europe. Um, on the website, you can also see there's a variety of different attachments. So you'll notice the front wheel was on the ground when the ABBA stands in use. Um, I mean, you can, it's stable enough that you can kind of lift that and spin it around a bit if you need, like when you're cleaning, but you can get other attachments that make that a bit easier or more permanent even. Um, when you order a new, new fitting element or whatever you want to call it, fitting kit, this is what it comes like. It is just generally just the two sort of parts that fit into the top of the stand, as you can see in the picture. And it's pretty much as simple as that. They don't, there's nothing really that's holding them in, but because they are, they're a very snug fit, and obviously when it's on the bike, it's, uh, it's been pressed into place, there's no way they can come out. You do sometimes find you take the stand off the bike and that little element might still be stuck in the frame, but it, you, know, you pull it back out again, you're fine. So there you go, the ABBA stand itself with a fitting kit or whatever bike you've got if you're buying it for the first time is just over £99. Um, but for me, I really like it. It's very easy to use. Good sturdy. Can be uh, moved from one bike to another. That's the other stand. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.